there we are. Welcome to this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. I'm going to give you just a quick tutorial about how tight you want to do up your wheel nuts. Now, these are actually wheel bolts on a BMW, but wheel nuts, same rules apply. We all know if you've had your tyres changed at the uh, tyre shop, they can do them up with a, a big impact wrench and they are just impossible to get off. I've got a big, it's just a socket, the right size socket with a, a bar and then a great big nudge bar whatever you want to call it so i can get the leverage and take that off now i've made a mistake truth is i got an issue with my back so i don't want to strain it too much so i was using this nudge bar to put the wheel nuts back on and it meant that i was getting them just as tight as those um impact wrenches now if you've got security nuts then all of a sudden that can become a major issue because like you see this nut here i actually snapped the head off of my lock nut so we've got snapped off in there there's another video have a look i put a link up here that's all about that how to get them out all the hassle i had to go through for that the long and the short of it is putting them on with this i was simply putting too much force on my lock nuts were damaged by shops beforehand they're 10 years old so there's lots of times they've been changed in the meantime rah 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 doesn't matter straw that broke the camel's back i over tightened it and snapped it off so Never, here it is, never ever use your great big bars when you're putting wheel nuts on. If that's what it takes to get them off, while I will say be very, very careful with your lock nut and make sure it stays in square, you just nothing you can do about it. If they put it on that tight, you have to do what it takes with your bar to get it off. But never use a big bar like that to put it on or use your gun full on to um, put them on when it comes to the lock nuts. I've been told, I've had to deal with a couple of mechanics and they're talking about the nuts. If you've got a torque wrench, of course, you put it up to torque. And I think it's about 140. But with your, this is a very traditional tool, this um, here. And if you've got hand tools and you're taking it off and on, then as tight as you can get it with that, with the wheel on the ground, is actually as tight as you want to go. I've got another video, I'll put a link up here for how to change a wheel, just to go through the whole procedure if that's what you want to look at. When you're putting a wheel on, you need to get it sitting square on the hub, so it's free to spin at the moment, which means you can't get the nuts up too tight. So we can spin them on. This is just a drill, so it's not gonna take them up tight at all. So we can spin these nuts on with this, and it might sound like they're going up tight, but they're absolutely not. Okay, so my procedure for doing these up, going back to the old tool, I've done it up with a drill, but that's not very tight at all. You look with this, see how much extra, that's the one I started with, this here. See, they're going a lot extra. So I just give them a jolt, and again, I go clockwise, but you skip one bolt each time. When you got five, so you do that one, you skip one, go to there, do it up, skip one, go to there, do it up, skip one, go to there, do it up. Then what I'll do, I'll let the jack down. So this is just touching, not the full weight of the car. There we go. So that's on the ground. No, that's not on the ground. I'm gonna go a little bit further. Now that's on the ground. So we can do this up now, nice and tight. And that, with the wheel brace, is about where we wanna be. Skip one around, clockwise again. Do it up, skip one around clockwise, do it up. And that, look, ideally, there's no doubt if you're doing this, you should have a tension wrench. And it was either 120 or 140, I think it was 140, um, for these to do your bolts up to the right amount. But the purpose of this video is to let you know to never ever use your big bar, even if you're taking it easy on yourself because there's too much potential to over tighten. These guys, the BMW ones, can stretch and be damaged same with your nuts you can damage the threads and so forth so you just have to be careful and you can't go reefing them on because if you do you will um, strip off your lock nut particularly but you can also damage your other nuts far less likely with the non-lock nuts but with the lock nuts big chance that you will damage them so there you go there's today's tip do not use your pry bar to get these nuts too tight and yeah it does matter